Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Brew Dude coming at you with another brewery review. Today I'm coming at you with um, a different uh, brewery. Um, this is Ocho Reales from Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico. Um, this is a craft beer, a uh, craft brewery from Mexico. Uh, craft beer is, is not that big in Mexico, but this is the biggest independent craft brewery in Mexico. All of the brews brewed by Ocho Reales um, are actually brewed by the German uh, purity laws of 1516. It's actually known as Reinhardtgebot. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Reinhardtgebot is it basically a law that protected consumers before, uh, well, like back in the days in, in 1516 in Germany. Uh, it limited uh, brewers to produce beers that only had uh, three ingredients actually. So it was. Uh, malted barley or, or malt, um, hops, and water. At that time, they didn't really understand what yeast was, so um, I guess now it's been added on there. I, I just think it's worth noting that in Mexico and in the US, German beers basically dominate both countries uh, with the likes of like Modelo's, um, Bohemia in Mexico, uh, Corona, you know, you have. Here you have Bud Light, Budweiser, Miller Lite, things like that, which are like lighter German uh, style beers. Now this beer in specific is a Pilsner beer. I think they only have uh, Pilsner, Amber, uh, Imperial Ale, and Porters. So um, enough of that, I'll just go ahead and go on with uh, the review. I'll go ahead and show you the packaging guys. So that's the Ocho Reales packaging. Um, in terms of craft beer, it doesn't really, uh, for craft beer, it's more like artsy, it's more like out there, it's more out of the box. This sort of packaging is what you would see more with an established brewery, like a huge brewery, like Modelo or like Budweiser where it's like royalty, you know? As a matter of fact, Ocho Reales means eight royals. If I'm not mistaken, eight royal uh, is the. Uh, it was a Spanish currency. I think it was the first currency that was uh, a worldwide currency, and it was actually one of the first currencies, if not the first currency, legally used in the United States. Uh, as I mentioned before on my previous video, uh, where I, I reviewed barley and forge the Pepsi, um, I like the packaging that tells you what kind of beer it is. I like the packaging that shows you the actual brewing company's name and that it gives you a brief description of, of what kind of beer it is going to be. So here it says Ocho Reales, the brewing uh, company. Right on the top lets you know it's craft beer. Lets you know it's going to be a Pilsner and it says 100% malted barley. It does say uh, 4.6 alcohol by volume on the packaging. So what I also like in the packaging guys here, I'm not sure if you guys can read it, it might be too far away, but I'll leave a link on the description uh, and you guys would be able to see uh, their website for Ocho Reales. This beer, I didn't find it on barnivore.com, but I know it is it is um, vegan because of the purity laws. What made me fall in love with the packaging for this brew and the brewery uh, in itself, it lets you know right away. Um, our original beer style is craft brewed in strict adherence to the German purity laws of nine, uh, sorry, of 1516, the Bavarian Reinheitsgebot. Um, it's basically what I explained earlier. That's pretty cool. Now, um, this beer, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but it's not on barnivore.com. I wasn't able to find it. Um, this was a gift from somebody. I was letting them know that um, I had recently started a YouTube channel where I review, I review vegan brews and vegan uh, breweries for that matter and they let me know about this beer. I was actually here at a local bar where they have only Mexican craft beer. They'll hear, uh, every here and then they'll sneak in a like San Diego brewery uh, type of beer, uh, usually stone brewing company what they sneak in. but. Um, one of the guys told me, hey, you should check this beer out. Um, we don't have it on tap now, but I know that they're um, here in the back. And uh, he gave me two six packs. They gave me a Pilsner and they gave me an Amber. All right, guys, so here we go with the bottle packaging. 
basically the same. Um, the difference is that for some reason here it's in Spanish. Uh, lager, uh, lager Clara, uh, clear lager, uh, Pilsner, and um, it's pretty weird. It's artisanal beer, as they call it there, cerveza artesanal. But um, I, I'll go ahead and give it a spank. Um, f for the for the matter that they are following the purity laws, guys, um, and that it is placed on the packaging on the packaging due to it following my likes where it states the the brewery the type of beer that it is and a brief description of it that that gives it a spank for me so at least on the packaging it takes the spank now let's go ahead and check out how um, good this beer is in terms of pour smell taste and the body nice pour guys so uh, the head at least for now it's like a finger head it's a dark golden color pretty clear obviously um, according to their website it is 4.6 alcohol by volume it also says it here on the packaging according to their website as well uh, the IBU is 17 which should be 17 out of 100 once again the ingredients are pretty simple I'm just gonna read it off what their website says 100% uh, malts mix of pale malts and caramel malts water and their own um, lager yeast and they also have a mix of European varieties uh, of hops it doesn't really give you an actual description of what hops and what malts are being used, but I mean it's a pilsner, guys. It's 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 a simple, refreshing type of beer. What you're used to here in in the states, and what people would be used to in Mexico as well. The head the head is white. The smell you actually don't get uh, a strong hoppy smell to it. It's more like like a floral hop, not like a bitter hop. It's really carbonated. It's refreshing. Um, you don't taste alcohol either. I mean, it is low in alcohol. I like it. It's hoppy. When you smell it, you can you can smell like the bitter bitter uh, the bitter hops. It's not like it's like really bitter. As I said, it's only 17 IBU, but when you taste it, you taste the bitterness of the hops. Like I said, those floral tones come in when you smell it. Um, obviously, Pilsners, they're, they're, they're refreshing, crisp beers. Uh, the body is medium bodied. This is the type of beer that you're, you're going to, to be able to drink uh, many of. It's not like other beers. Uh, like for example, the last video was a porter. The porter, you would only be able to drink a few of them until your your palate was, you know, was done with it. Um, the, the given about Pilsners is that they're, once again, they're fresh, they're crisp, they're, they're uh, low in alcohol. So you'll be able to drink a lot more of them and they're definitely summer beers. In terms of taste, body, head, smell, look, I give it a spank, it, it, it stays true to its nature. And I like, I like the craftiness of it. I don't want to name drop, but I mentioned some names earlier. This beer is spanking your ass. Um, I'll go ahead and drink this and then I'll drink the rest of the six pack and then we'll check out the buzzability. Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, checking out the buzzability. Um, finishing my six beer. Took me about 45 minutes to finish the six pack. It's not bad. This is what you're accustomed to here in the US um, in terms of like beer from 5.0 to 5.5 I cannot stress that enough this is what is it a uh, 4.6 that's extra light right there um, as I said before I can give this bang um, it's gonna go in the top five the top five are there already now so from here on out it's uh, the true competition starts out I'll go ahead and leave you guys with this and I'll just go ahead and chug the rest of the beer out.
Okay guys, so I'm out for today. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to watch my introduction to the channel, please click on the left hand side. If you would like to watch the previous video, please click on the right hand side. If you would like to subscribe, click on the school now.